Okay, here we are. Get my breakfast together. Well, not breakfast, my well, I don't know what you would call it. Got some uh, yogurt. Let me put the. I put a little bit of yogurt in there already, but now I need to um, put some banana in there. You know how to do a banana? See where you do that? You do like this the banana, right? Now usually, like the, in the wild, of monkeys and stuff like that, people eat banana. They do it from the center, <laughs> and they, they leave it up there. But see this little. You probably can't see it, but this is, you see the brown thing, but there's a little thing right there. So you're actually supposed to open a banana from the bottom because that little thing in the bottom is sort of kind of weirdly uh, not good for you. Let's put it that way. So you're supposed to get rid of that. You can eat the banana from the top, of course, like that, and never eat the bottom there, like that. I have a little bit of yogurt in here, but I'm gonna put the banana. And the way I do the banana, right? See, I use this spoon, I just start cutting my slices right in the peel, right? So what happens? Is basically, uh, you know, it looks like I uh, can't see it, but as you see, how did I keep on going down? So I cut it like, can you see that? So I cut it like that, right on the skin, let it go off like that. And it's a pretty good banana. I like my banana is kind of firm, you know. That uh, I don't like mushy anything, you know. That's probably why I don't really not into okra. <laughs> I'm just not into it. Okay, so I like my little firm bananas. Now, there's a lot of little bananas in the world. Anyway, they're starting to get them back. But when I was in Mexico, for instance, I really liked the little bananas. They're a little, they were a little sweeter, but I like the little, the little bananas rather than the, the size that you see. I don't know why they even do that. Then I put my banana in there, like that. And see, I put turmeric in everything. Now, I know you, for, 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 you, for you turmeric, to, you should excite it with, uh, with black pepper, but uh, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. And I'm not going to put black pepper in this. No. In fact, I'm going to make this sweet. Maybe I should put black pepper in this. No. So, you know, black pepper sort of activates the turmeric. But I w what I will put in, cinnamon. In the morning, I like cinnamon. And if I'm cooking... And I cook, but you know, make a pancake like that. I use nut making the pancakes, but I put cinnamon always on top. So I put a little cinnamon there. Then what I'll do is, oh, this is the uh, this is the yogurt I'm using. I've got the small things. So I'm making a big thing of yogurt. Why? Because I feel like it. This is a Redwood Hill Farm plain yogurt, right? But as you'll notice, see that? It's a goaty. It's a little goat, you know, like that. And it's a <laughs> here's a funny thing. It's like, see the little white woman there that they got there, like holding the goat or whatever it is. <laughs> so when I think of goats and stuff like that, because I'm, you know, I'm home, home where, when I'm in Africa, you know, you'll see, the women don't be hanging with the goats, you know, no little white woman with no goats, you know, the goat herders are <laughs> young black dudes, you know, that's the whole thing. Anyway, so I put the, uh, I put that in there because I'm, I'm having a, basically, you should do one, but I'm not, I'm, I'm making a, I might do this a little bit later. Try to, try to find some, uh, I like cranberries or blueberries with my, with my bananas and the yogurt, but I think I'm not, it's going to have a lot of yogurt this morning. Have, I'm not doing anything all day. I shouldn't say that. I'm going to, uh, um, I'll do some more reading today like that. Here's the way, here's the way I also do it. I take my finger, right? I do like that. Go get all the thing out the thing because you know, hey, I'm poor. <laughs> Gotta get all the stuff out. And I take the can you see that? You can't see that. Take the spoon like that, do like that. On the spoon. Kind like that. But then um then I might pour a drizzle of maple syrup, organic maple syrup. I know it's a little sweet, whatever, but it's plain yogurt. I didn't put this or whatever yogurt in there. Just a little bit of maple syrup. All right, because I like maple syrup. Plus, I think maple syrup is, is healthy, I think. So I do that. Okay. So that's done. Get rid of that. And, uh, oh, look. Hey, this is interesting. Look. Get to know your goats. A packaging. That's why they put the white woman on a package, because, you know, they, I don't know what they figure. Anyway, hey, let's pull this off. See what's under here. Know your goats. Oh, hey, I didn't notice this. This is interesting. Great breeds. Oh, they breed. 
we love our goats. Okay, you have the Shilin goats. Uh, what's my glasses? What's my reading glasses? Huh? I like to do this. Hey, since I got these reading glasses from the VA, I've been doing a reading glasses thing. Man. Hey, put it down my neck, my thing, and everything like that, so I can look like a whatever. Oh yeah, the Shilin. <laughs> oh, the Shilin. S a a n e n. Mellow and sweet from Switzerland. That's that goat right there. Mellow and sweet from Switzerland. Then you have the, the Nubian goat. Proud and regal from Africa, England. Africa, England? They don't even go together. That's the Nubian goat right there. Speaking about Nubian, tonight I got to go to, I'm, go, I'm going to a lecture on, uh, on uh, um, that my, well, the, I saved this guy. My fraternity brother here, my brother, uh, James Kanye, he's a big time professor and whatever happened, he's like an expert in a bunch of other things, you know, Egyptology and, you know, and Pan-Africanism and all the rest of that stuff. And he's going to do a lecture at um, at uh, Baruch College on blind, you know blind, you don't know blind? Edward Blyden. Edward Wilmot Blyden. Edward Wilmot Blyden. Uh, 1832, Pan-Negro Patriot, uh, 1912, Edward Blyden, that's what Edward Blyden looks like. So he's going to give a lecture, because he's a, he knows about Blyden uh, tonight. So I'm going to go down there and check that out, and uh, just to cause some controversy, hey, I'm going to wear my Eidos original from the whatever, you know, Made in America kind of a t-shirt. So if there's any Pan-Africanists in the audience, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. What else? Okay. Um, I was at the African. Well, some other goats. It don't matter. <laughs> Goat milk is good. Blah, 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 blah. More people who drink. The more people more people in the world drink goat milk than any other milk from animals. I didn't know that. That's interesting. When I was young, I had to do goat milk because um, I, I have lactose intolerance, whatever it is. So they gave me goat milk instead of uh, instead of uh, um, milk milk or cow milk, I guess. Goats are smart, uh, personable, and, and immensely social creatures. Now, goats are a nuisance. Oh, never mind, I shouldn't say that. I like goats. Female goats are, are does. Males are bucks. And baby goats are called kids. Goats are browser like deer and not grazers. Oh, the browse and like like cows. What is it? They prefer the bush and leaves over grass. That's good. Uh, goats actually don't actually eat anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Ghosts don't actually eat everything. Just quote quote. Ghosts don't quote eat everything. Close quote. Uh, they are prickly eaters, but curiously explore things with their mouths, just like small children do. Interesting. And you know, there's this whole thing, you know, talk about Pan-Africanism and, 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 and ADOS, whatever have you. If you get out rep reparations, one of the things, if, you know, we, we get money, what you could actually do is you could finance uh, a goat herd, you know, a goat herd or goat herds, whatever. You have a couple of goats, even show goats, the whole thing with show goats, in Africa, which will give you more money return and go into the bank and stuff like that. I won't get into that stuff, it's finance. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm gonna let this, uh, i let my little, I gotta taste it, wait a second. See what it's gonna be like. I might put it in the refrigerator for later too. Mm. Mm. I like it. Oh, so we learned something about Get off that cows, get on goats. Goat's milk, goat yogurt, whatever. It's just gonna do a milky thing, then do do goats. I always like both goats anyway. Oh, okay. Enough of this. Oh, wait a second. I think I look good like this. Oh. So, Hey. Right. Also, um, I gotta finish up because you know tomorrow night. So the, today is Wednesday. I don't know what day. It is. Tomorrow night, I think we have the book club. So I'm gonna finish up. I purposely waited. I'm gonna finish up. You know, the Martin Luther King that we supposed to be reading. We being the, the ADOS folks supposed to be reading. You know, uh, where do we go from here? A community of chaos, or chaos and, or community. Martin Luther King. Right. I'm at the end here. Uh, One eighty-five. Oh, that's it. 185, the appendix is 203. Oh, I didn't know it was that far. Okay, I guess read the appendix too. 185 to 214. 
I just may wait till tomorrow to read this. I read my continue reading my other book. So wait a second, let me look. No, I want to keep on looking like this. Actually, I'm finished. I just want to. <laughs> now the reason why I'm giving um, 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 telling you all this stuff because I'm going to another gear now because after tonight's lecture, then I gotta do a whole some more interviewing and stuff like that. Uh, these just days are sort of chilling out uh, for me, um, but. Uh, Oh, it's, it's stuff that been happening with BAI. I'm not going to give you no update on that. Well, there's a meeting BAI tomorrow, tomorrow night, I think, or something like that. Got to interview Melvin. A bunch of people got to interview. Uh, Friday, I go down to New Brunswick because there's a, uh, got to do a poetry reading. Um, uh, but I think um, also tomorrow night, uh, Craig Harris is playing, not tomorrow night, Friday night, I should say, Friday night. It's, uh, I got to be in New Brunswick. I want to be at the new school where Craig is playing because Antonio from from Chimaranga, um magazine is exposed to you up in New York. Chimaranga is having a thing uh, exhibit or something like that. So I just catch the exhibit on on Saturday. I'll just have to miss the gala on Friday. Oop, sorry, and I'd rather not. I'd rather be, but I'm sort of committed to this poetry reading at Loretta's uh, Loretta Dumas Church. So I have to do that. Um, and then I then I go back to uh, Virginia or something like that. But that time that'll be writing. I'll be writing the, the, the plays and doing a lot of reading and stuff like that. So that's my little schedule. What's your schedule? Hey, because somebody asked. Me, oh, that's right. When we was um, at the ADOS conference in St. Louis, I was being interviewed by the, the film crew that's doing this thing. And um, Antonio, um, the guy sort of didn't. I don't know if the guy really wanted to talk to me, but Antonio, when I because. I'm from South Africa. Well, I live in South Africa. Antonio Moore jumped in and asked some questions. And uh, it was kind of interesting because one of the questions they no one of the questions, the stock question they would answer, what are you what are you doing for ADOS or whatever it is? And I'm going like, well, I'm an audio dramatist. So um, my whole thing about this is a political movement, right? My whole thing um, really is that you know, to, uh, any kind of political movement has to have an undergirding of, of you know, a culture, you know, of a, a popular culture, I should say. So uh, with the audio drama, and because with, with audio drama, see, everything, you can put poetry in it, you can put music in it, put fashion in it, you, everything can go into audio drama if you wish. So our theme of audio drama is, is on reparations. Um, so, so guess what I'm saying. So, so what I'm trying to say is uh, uh, I think one of the phases, even as we, do do all this activism or whatever it is is that we really have to start kind of, kind of dealing with the, some cultural aspects of uh, of ADOS. Um, so I mean, that, I think that's 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 very important. Um, and once they get the documentary film out, uh, probably take a, a less than a year, hopefully, then then people will get more interest as it as it gets build some some steam because right now people are still trying to ignore 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 ignore. Now with this whole thing with. Uh, What's happening political, politically with uh, I want to see what happens with Hillary Clinton. This is going to be so funny. She's trying to, I don't know if she's trying to get back in the race. I don't know what, but that's sort of super interesting to me. Um, but I'm waiting really for, see what happens in North Carolina, because I'm really thinking that the young people, especially ADOS, who start talking, uh, I think it was Sarah Silverman last election cycle, or no, whenever it was, uh, she was saying, you know, talk to your grandparents and stuff like that. You know, there was this whole move. So if the young people, if young, young enough people in ADOS start talking to their, their grandparents to see what happened, everybody I, I run into, I told them, hey, look, I, I give them ADOS101.com to, to, to check out, check out. So if, if nothing else, you know, uh, that that's happening. Of course, we have next month we have the whole thing about the Washington D.C. thing. That I'm not sure. I want to go, but I'm not sure if I can go because this that'd be too close to the audio drama. And I think I have to. We'll have to see what happens. So, of course, ADS um, um, NYC is going to go down. ADS not down. NYC is going down. So that's my little update. So what's happening? You know, um, little exciting things. Have ADOS on your consciousness is what I'm trying to say. And then once you have them on your consciousness, yeah, because they're always on your consciousness, then things happen, don't they? That's a little message from me. T, from the Patterson Sacred Trains to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. From a reality of the ADOS, that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.